Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. We conquered Monstro last time, today we are heading to a new world. So, we've got Agrabah, Olympus Coliseum, Wonderland, and Halloween Town left. Now honestly, any of these would be a good choice. I'm going to do Olympus Coliseum, because honestly, this is the one I probably should have started with. This is also another pretty difficult one, much like Monstro, if you do it early. Actually, this is just a pretty difficult one all around. So, let's see how that goes! Look, an announcement! Well, I'll be. It's for some sort of contest. They're calling it the Olympus Coliseum Survival Cup. Contenders have to run an obstacle course, battling each other along the way. And listen to this, the great hero Hercules will also compete for the cup. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> it says here he's never been beaten. Yeah, that definitely isn't fair. Sounds like fun. Why don't we enter, too? I thought you'd say that. Whenever there's a contest, you're raring to join up. You're just gonna compete even if we don't, right? Uh-huh. Guess we better tag along, then. Hold it, everyone. There's more. Only contenders who finish the preliminary course may enter the main competition. It says the preliminary course is just ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Oh, look who it is. It's everyone's favorite hothead, Hades. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait just a minute. What's this? Hercules is a model of true strength and gallantry. The perfect hero? Oh, he's perfect, all right. PERFECTLY INFURIATING! Just thinking about that little sunspot makes me boil. Gah, I'd like to send him to the underworld permanently. Which is why you hired me. That's right, you're my man, Cloud. Your job is to beat Hercules in the games, and once you've got him cornered, finish the job. Do that for me? Restore my lost memories, as we agree. You have my word. Oh boy. So I'll be honest, out of all the games that Olympus Coliseum has appeared in, this is by far my favorite incarnation of it, because it's not just the Coliseum, it's actually like an obstacle course. And I'm gonna start actually by ignoring the Heartless and going straight to the first room. Yeah. Because I want to get the Calm Bounty reward as soon as possible. This is the reason that I came to Olympus Coliseum first. If we open this chest, we get Blizzard Raid! It's like Fire Raid, but with Blizzard. Which means we are going to add our other Blizzard card that we happen to got from the Magic Deck. And then reorder some stuff. There we go. That looks pretty good. And this will make the fights quite a bit easier. Alright, we're going back to the first room to show off these enemies. So first off, these are Power Wilds. You probably remember them from the original game. And those are Bouncy Wilds. These guys are a bit annoying. Oh yeah, and I forgot. My <laughs> level 2 Blizzard is actually a premium card. Oh yeah. If you can hit them all twice with that, that's very good. Oh my gosh, we get the Bouncy Wild card. That's a great card for Sora. Bouncy Wild. Attract Fallen cards and items for easy retrieval. It's super cheap, and it draws in the Experience Orb, so you don't really have to worry about those. Heck yes. Sign me up. So that makes our... That means we won't be able to use the Powered Up Fire card, but that's okay. Because now the Experience just jumps towards us. At least until all the enemies are dead. Stagnant Space. That's an interesting card. I'll get more into that later. Whishoo! So as you can see, yeah, these, these battles are pretty easy. And we got fat bodies again, or large bodies. But with the raided moves, they're not too bad. 
And this is why I wanted Fire Raid and Blizzard Raid as fast as possible. Because now I can effortlessly beat any enemy. I'll deal with the Blue Rhapsodies first, though, before I break out the Blizzard Raids. And it's so nice to just stay in one place and not have to worry about picking up experience points. Man, I lucked out big time. Let's burn a new slate. Strike Raid! Hurl the Keyblade forward, stunning en enemies and dealing damage to enemies in the path. You need free attack cards to be stacked, and their total value has to be 24 to 26. That's literally just a worse version of Fire Raid and Blizzard Raid, though. Like, it deals way less damage. Also, if you throw that with the right timing, you can hit uh, the enemies with it, like, three or four times. Okay, this is a little more problematic. When you're facing Blue Rhapsodies, you can't use Blizzard Raid on them, which is why I was hoping for more fire from the Blue Boar. And I'm so glad that my level 2 Blizzard is a premium card. That really... That really helps, because it's way cheaper to equip. Martial Waking, that's a good card. Wow. Fighting enemies flies by. Kingdom Key? Kingdom Key. Those are high-value cards, though. Well, the 7 was at least. I like Olympus Coliseum. Catchy music. Good prize from the Calm Bounty. It's very nice. And again, I really like the card system, like, with the values and only one person can attack at once. I think it's really well done. What's this? Okay, Key of Guidance. We'll have to come back there. Alright, Martial Waking. That, like, it's basically like Alchemic Waking, only instead of increasing your item card's values by two, it increases your attack card's values by two. Which is good, except that also turns your zero cards into two cards, which is not as good. Stagnant space creates a really long, narrow hallway with Heartless inside it. It's it's interesting. I'm gonna do... Let's see, not a meeting ground. Uh, you know what? I'll do Teeming Darkness. Why not? I still have to show this off, and I have, I'm well equipped to deal with it. Yep, massive room. Lots of Heartless. Boy. So I'm not powerful enough to kill those guys with the strike raid. Zoop. But sliding dash killed them. Nice. If you can build your deck around slates, that can generally result in really, really good decks. Okay, please be the one where this is their only wave of blue rhapsodies. Nope. Well, gotta kill the bounty wilds quickly. One annoying thing is, you can't play cards while you're taking damage. One of the few annoying things about the game. Marshall Wicking! C, please. CP, please. I'm already level 13. Nice. Uh oh. I should not have done that. Another level up. This is insane. Alright, we are finally done with the enemies. So there's a lot of stuff to interact with in this room. Ooh, the Olympia Keyblade. That's a good one. Yeah, I didn't. I barely got uh, break rushed for that at last episode. But yeah, each world has a unique keyblade that you can find hanging around it. And once you get one of them, you can find them in Moogle Shop uh, card packs. And each keyblade has different stats, basically. And the stat... Actually, let me check, because I'm not entirely sure what the stats are. So you've got uh, the Kingdom Key, so you've got Attack, Swing Speed, and Recovery. So Swing Speed and Recovery, honestly, not that important. It's pretty much unnoticeable. Whereas Attack is noticeable. So, the Kingdom Key has 
D attack, whereas Olympia is C plus, so that so Olympia Keyblade cards are going to deal more damage against enemies, which is nice. I'm going to equip my 7 card. Actually, let me remove some of my terrible cards, like my 2s. Also remove a free so I can equip Olympia free instead. Uh, can I equip some heals as well? I probably don't need heals. I will need... I don't need Dumbo, but I'm going to want Dumbo for the boss of this world. That'll be helpful. Uh, yeah! Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. The annoying thing is that the Dumbo card you get in Monstro is always a 3, which is not a very good card. But it's very effective against the boss of this world, if you can hit them with it. Alright, so we've got a crown door over here. That's the Room of Rewards. Okay, probably not going through there. Eight or higher. Wow, they are demanding. Guess we'll go with a meeting ground. Friend card will always spawn at the start of battle. Sorceress waking! I still think that looks like a squid and not a magic hat, but I think I'm in the minority there. Another level up! Okay, now we'll level up HP. <laughs> we do need to level up HP. Harry Potter points, of course. Ooh, the Blue Rhapsody card! Nice! Blue Rhapsody is much like the Red Nocturne, increases the strength of your Blizzard abilities. In this world, that's going to be helpful for the boss, so I'm equipping that. And I have the CP to do it. Alright. Aha, that's what I'm looking for. HP or Moogle points. Yeah. And the Key of Truth. Alright, so basically what we have to do is go for the entire map in order to reach the Key of Beginnings room, which I'm guessing is right there. So this is the last room, actually. Wow, really high-valued cards that we need to open these doors. Well, you know what? I fought a ton of Heartless in this world and got a ton of level ups. I'll make it a small Heartless room. Oh, special enemy! These are barrel spiders, and sorry you threw that keyblade in completely the wrong direction. If you can kill them, you get experience, but they can blow up on you very easily. Uh, CP again. Alright, at last, we made it to the first door. Alright, five or higher, there we go. Seven or higher. Of beginnings. It's Phil! Huh? Where did you come from? Don't tell me you guys pet finished the prelims! We sure did, and now we want to go for the cup. Well, you came to the right place! Not that you stand a chance against Herc! Why not? Two words. You ain't heroes. You're wrong! Yeah, he said free words. Not that! I mean, how can we prove we're he heroes unless you give us a chance? Whoa, <laughs> he's like twice the height of Sora. That's insane! He's right, Phil. They cleared the prelims. I think they deserve a shot. Hmm, you got a point there, Herc. But still. Of course, we could always cancel the games. Cancel them? What for? Old Phil's prelim course was so hard, no one else could finish it. They didn't go to Monstro first and get fire raids, so they were just stuck. <laughs> Is that right? Then it's settled. Let us compete and you won't have to cancel the games. How about it, Phil? Okay, you got me over a barrel, so fine. Here's how it works, kid. It's Sora, not kid. Alright, alright. 
Sora, since your team and Hercules are the only contenders. They're not. The games have a new challenger named Cloud. The more the merrier! Now the games will really be something to see! I'm looking forward to this. Don't expect me to pull any punches. <laughs> hey, as long as you don't expect me to take them. Let's give it our best. Whatever. Cloud's the brooding teenager of the group. Okay, let's get this show on the road, but first I gotta explain a few rules. Rule number one, first one through the obstacle course wins. Rule number two, in the event of a tie, a battle will determine the winner. Rule number three, you can interfere with your opponents on the course. And finally, rule number four, all challengers have to give it everything they got. Alright, enough with the spiel. On your marks, get set. Go! And we get the key of guidance. It's not actually a race, we just have to get to the next cutscene. Got a cure spell, and what else do we have in store? Moogle points, nice. Also, you can check your Moogle points from the menu. So yeah, Moogle points, I have 354. Nice, that's enough to get another magic pack. I don't play Magic the Gathering, but that, that's not the type, kind of magic card pack that I'm talking about. Another cure. Interesting. They love throwing those cures at me. Not that I'm complaining. The more cures you have, the better, because that allows you to use Kira and Kiraga. Which are going to be necessary for later on in the game. Yay! Another fire. Excellent. Excellent. I was hoping for another fire. In that case, I don't think I have to go and make another Moogle Room just to get that. Especially since we already got the Olympia Keyblade. If I had, hadn't found an Olympia lying out somewhere, like in these columns or the barrels or anything, I would have made a Moogle Room and purchased stuff until I got one. Because if you leave Olympia without getting the Olympia Keyblade, I'm not sure if you can get it in other Moogle Packs. Oh, hey. Too many HP orbs. If I have full HP, I don't want HP orb drops, please and thank you. Alright, let's go through here. We need a green card. Any green card will do. Cool. Do we have any duplicates? No. Well, meeting ground's not very good, so we'll use that. And key to guidance. It's Cloud! Gorsh, that was nice of him to wait for us to catch up. Goofy, it's a competition. <laughs> He's not waiting! Remember rule number three? You can interfere with your opponents on the course! This is the worst Donald Duck voice anyone's ever done. He's looking to narrow the field! You can put that away. I'm not looking for a fight with you, so keep walking. See? He was waiting for us to catch up. Well, we've caught up. Let's take him up on his offer and keep going. I don't see a downside. Listen, are you sure? I'm not here for the cup, just Hercules. Today he loses more than the competition. You don't mean... But why? What did he do to you? This is business. Stay out of it. Go win your cup. Do you realize what you're doing? Rule number three! You can interfere with your opponents, right? You're not the only one who wants to fight Hercules. Nice bluff there, Sora. Big mistake. So this is the fight against Cloud, and he's pretty darn tough because he actually uses Slates. Thankfully, we've got Blizzard Raid. Which is gonna help us out. And Fire Raid. And Fire Raid. So that'll take out a good chunk of his HP. And now we can just kind of beat him up. 
Oh, and I can show off what Dumbo does. <laughs> Dumbo score. Whoa! That dealt a lot of damage against him. Dumbo deals ice damage, in case you didn't know. Wow, Cloud, you are a lot easier than I remember. Holy cow, Cloud is a lot easier than I remember. Granted, I also threw my Keyblade at him, infused with magic powers a few times. And we get a high potion for that. Where did Cloud go? I think we killed him. He headed for the finish line. We better go after him. Right. Cloud apparently mysterious telep mysteriously teleported. So yeah, for that, we get the high potion. So the potion basically quick loads available attack cards with very little charge time. The high potion does that, except it quick loads all your attack cards, including ones that ha should have disappeared because you uh, stocked them. So, for example, if you stock three cards together, you lose the first card that you stocked in that group. But if you use the high potion, you can get them back in that battle, which is actually pretty nice. However, it's very costly, and we only have a value free one, which is not very good. All right. So before we take on the boss, I am removing anything fire-related, because fire-related stuff is going to heal the boss. All right. I'm also going to equip some more cures, just as a precaution. Excellent. Alright, now I'm going to wander around the map again, pick up anything, because every time you see one of those cutscenes, everything respawns on the map. So you can hit all the stuff again and get new things coming up. Alright, we've reached the boss. Okay, free or lower? So let's use one of our teeming darkness freeze. And key to truth. And be prepared, this is one of the toughest boss fights in the game. You lost! Give it up, Cloud! We're not done yet. I can't guarantee your safety if we keep going like this better worry about yourself. Looks to me like you're slowing down a bit. Ugh. Don't worry, I'll back you up. Sora? Get all the backup you want. I'm going to finish you and get back my memories. Your memories? Now, now, Cloud. We don't want to spill the beans. Hades, you! Looks like you oversold yourself, Cloud. All you did was wear him down. This doesn't look good for your performance rating. Let me put it this way. You, my spiky-haired friend, are fired. But my memories, we had a deal. Did you really think you could get you back your lost memories just like that? Get a grip. Why, you... I said you're through. This time I'll take care of Hercules myself. Hey! Rule number five. It's never too late to enter the games. Hades, you were behind this from the start. Cloud may have failed to take you out, but he did break you down. Time for plan B. Pack your pita, Herc, because you've just won a free trip to the underworld, paid by me. Hold it, hothead. Sora, no! Come on, Herc! How can we go one-on-one -on -one if you're in the underworld? Good point, kid. I guess you'll just have to go with him. Rule number six. There are no rules. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, we get to fight Hades. Not Cerberus like we did in the first game. Hades. So, if we can hit him with Blizzard Raid a good amount, look how much damage that deals to him. What we really don't want is for him to break it with Temper Flare, yeah. When he's like that, he gets access to a lot more powerful attacks, and that move in particular hurts you multiple times and can stun lock you in place, which is not good. He also has very powerful cards. But if you... <laughs> as long as you pack a few Blizzard Raids, you're probably good. 
gonna do Kiraga followed or Kira followed by oh not followed by Dumbo. <laughs> He's like Dumbo. No, Dumbo deals a lot of damage against uh, Hades. It's just hard to use it on him because it's such a low value card. I'm making it look easy, but if you don't have Blizzard, if you don't use Blizzard Raid accurately, then the, he's a lot harder than what this. Alright, we gotta get that, followed by Dumbo. Wrong way, Goofy. And Dumbo. Oh, nope, Dumbo touched him barely and he just died. Excellent. Thanks, Dumbo! <laughs> You're a gem. And for that, <laughs> we get the Hades card. Which is honestly not that great, but... Oh well. Ooh, let's burn a new slate! Blitz! Unleash a powerful free hit combo upon the enemy. You need to stock free attack cards of different types, whose total value goes from 10 to 15. So it's like Sliding Dash, but where a Sliding Dash had to be free keyboards of the same kind, like free Kingdom Keys, so this has to be free different ones. So it'd have to be like, one is a Kingdom Key, one's an Olympia, and one would be like a Wishing Star or something like that. What? The games are cancelled, but I was gonna win! Three words! Everyone's pooped! Wait a minute, that was only two! You gotta be kidding! What about my match of Hercules? I'm sorry, Sora, but you wouldn't want me to compete in this condition. Let's have a match when I'm fit again. Can you wait? No, I gotta keep going and I'll forget! <laughs> okay, I'll hold you to that. Then it's settled! Sora, over here! He's coming around! You okay? Yeah. But his pride's hurt. Sorry I messed up your games. Hey, hope you get your memories back. Forget about what Hades said. Sometimes the tiniest thing can make you remember stuff you forgot years ago. If it's an important memory, there's no way it could ever be gone forever. That's what I think, anyway. That's for you. For helping me out. Sure you don't want to just come with us instead? Sorry. Not interested. We get Cloud. The only summon card in this game that was not in the original Kingdom Hearts. Cloud. Unleashes two successive sword attacks. And that doesn't sound impressive, but trust me, Cloud is insanely powerful. And if you can get a lot of Cloud cards, you can basically build a deck just around Cloud. It's pretty sweet. Alright. Now what I gotta do, I've gotta remove... Okay, Dumbo, you're out of here. And I'm removing those two Cures as well. I'm also removing my Potion, because my Potion is really not doing anything for me at this point. I'm adding my Fires back in. So the Hades card boosts the power of your attack cards when you're low on HP. And it's a significant attack boost, but low on HP means you're like in the wah 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 section, like blaring HP siren sound. And if you're like that, you want to heal yourself, not go into Berserk Rage. So that's how I feel, at least. And okay, I guess we can add our cures back in, or at least one of them. Oh, and I'll add my Red Nocturne card back as well. Okay, that looks good. Gotta organize my deck for the next world. Yeah! <laughs> Did you really think I'd leave without hitting these pillars? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it was just HP, are you serious? Come on, Sora, jump up the ladder. That's good, boy. Good, Sora. <laughs> Whoosh! I hope the cane is okay. Why bring that up all of a sudden? Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I hadn't forgotten about him. And? I still remember perfectly. Goofy and I are on a quest to find him. And Sora's tagging him on for some reason. Yep, the cane saved the other world by staying on the other side of the Door of Darkness. Plot dump from the last game. If Goofy still remembers, then I won't forget anytime soon. Wow, sick burn. And me, I'm looking for Riku. He was with the king when the door closed. That was easy. I guess we really can't forget the most important memories. I hope not. Sora, you're just tempting fate now. Come on. 
I bet Riku and the Keen are still together. I don't know. We've got to find that Keen soon. I heard how much I know I'll never forget. Oh, boy. Wow, Axel. You seem pretty intrigued by this Sora kid. <laughs> and you're not. I haven't made up my mind, but I'd like to know what's on yours. He became a heartless lark scene, and you know what happens to people who do. People who lose their hearts also lose their minds, their feelings. They're consumed by the darkness. Right, but that didn't happen to Sora. He held on to his feelings, even as a heartless. Only one other man ever managed to do that. So it's the strength of his heart that intrigues you. The heart chosen by the Keyblade. What makes his heart shine like that? What sleeps in its most secret depths? The heart is a mysterious faint axle. Maybe so, but unlocking its secrets is the whole reason we, the organization, exist. Also, in the remastered version, the Lady of Blonde Hair. She's voiced by the lady who does the Wendy's commercials. It's kind of funny. So except for our friends, we're forgetting everything bit by bit. Hmm, I wonder what we just forgot. I can't think of anything. I guess I must have forgot it. But whatever it was, it must not have been that important. Ugh, <laughs> yuck. Right, or else you wouldn't have forgotten it. See? Look at this. What's that? It's so low resolution, I can't understand it! It's a good luck charm Kyrie gave me. It's special to her, so I promised I'd return it. I'll never forget that promise. That's why I'll never forget Kyrie. I wonder what she's doing now. It's Kyrie! It's the other girl! What? Oh. Who... who was that? Hello, you still with us, sir? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Well, let's keep going. A castle Oblivion. 4-4! Four, four. Kairi will be so happy if you find Riku and bring him home. Oh, uh, okay. Don't you lose that good luck charm Kyrie gave you. Okay, I, I wasn't planning on it. That, my friends, is all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time when we head into a brand new world. I don't know which one I'm going to do it yet, actually. <laughs> but I hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless. Six level ups in one... <laughs> what? Six level ups in one world? That's insane.